I love you, bitch, and I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. This is for you, Malachi. This is for you. Everybody give Malachi. Malachi, group hug. You are my cinnamon apple. You gonna leave me for some dumb nigga? For some dumb nigga? This is literally the cutest thing. This is gonna burn really. Yeah. The last time I was here, I was driving my boss's car and he forgot the keys. He took the keys with him all the way to Arizona and I was driving a car with no keys. So I got back to the shop and I parked the car and it stopped. And then he called me and said, Jordan, there's no keys, so don't turn the car off. <laughs> turn the car off and it got stuck in the front. Open. I'm 
we were all scattered. So we were just looking at each other. And Kristen was like, and Kristen looked up at me. She's like, you knew her face, like she knew she was in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we wanted to fight each other so much, guys. We're talking about. I think we're like holding each other's wings off. We're just like, I think one of us went like this and then like flung up and hit each other. I think that's that's part of the experience. That's why I had you two. You guys were like the Jordan and I had to have this because I wanted to see siblings. I know about that. I didn't have someone to fight with. I didn't have someone to talk to. I didn't have someone that understood me. Every part of you should understand each other. We grew up together. What a beautiful relationship. It is beautiful. You still have it. You live in a valley together. That's how I wanted you to be. My dream came true. I want to start making more music, though. Yeah. I really like Every time I hear our music, I just like make more music. But I want to like start making stuff from scratch. One of the most beautiful things about growing up and having a sibling, and this is something that my mom and my brother and I were discussing, was like, my mom grew up as an only child, essentially, so she had a hard relationship with her. She had a hard relationship with her mom because she didn't really have a sibling to communicate with. And I think one thing that we often take for granted growing up is like being able to have a brother or sister to talk to when you know your mom or your dad or whatever, your single parent. Um, if you're having a hard time with your parents, one of the best resources is your siblings because not only are they your blood, but they're your best friend and sometimes your worst enemy. But growing up together, being in the same environment, having the same exposure to the same kinds of things and influences, uh, it's easy to, you know, sometimes go to them and be like, hey, like, you know, point each other out like, hey, you're talking to mom like this. I think you should watch the way you talk to her. Or like, I would tell my brother like, hey, mom's gonna get on you for these dishes. Like, let me help you get them done before she gets on you. and. Growing up and going through, we used through, to do them for us, for him sometimes too. Yeah, and Just so we, didn't get we in like and something that I really appreciate. And shout out to Cammy and Parker Lewis. Uh, you guys are two amazing friends that. I really just you know admire um, but you guys are such close siblings and one thing I love about that Parker had told me one time Parker if you're watching this I do really remember when you said that Cammy is like your other half and like you guys not only look very similar but like y like y'all have raised each other and I remember Cammy told me that um, she she feels like you guys kind of raised each other when your mom wasn't really around uh, like no offense not to diss anyone's mom, but like and even my brother and I had to raise each other at points where my mom was like You know, she had her own problems going on and she was learning to be a mother herself and going to college. Yeah, and she was growing up herself and you know She had addictions of her own and whatnot and so my brother and I had to really like pick up the, the scraps sound very good. No, like it's just no, the it's truth like good. we had to pick up the scraps and like, you know Be there for each other when needed that extra little dose of True. Growing up. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, guys. So shout out to Parker and Cammy. Shout out to all y'all out there. Even single, like, single lonely children. Because not everybody has a sibling. Um, but like, yeah, not everyone has a sibling. Shout out to all y'all siblings. So, backstory. We are leaving Washington now. Um, we got Lotus drinks. Because one thing about Washington that California does not have is Red Bull Italian sodas. I do not know why. Washington is coffee corner on every freaking exit, every corner of every block. But Cali, step up your game, man. Y'all need Lotus drinks. Uh, the valley should be kind of snowy right now, so we got us a rental car. Uh, we got a nice car going back to Yosemite. Update. We are in Oregon. I do not know what part of Oregon we are in, but we've been driving non-stop. It's dark. We totally forgot that they pump their gas. They pump your gas for you. Mom pulled up on the wrong side. <laughs> the gas hole was on the other side. Um, and I just can't get over the fact that we all get to be together. Like life is so beautiful, and it's the little things that mean the most. I think social media sometimes makes us feel like we have to be celebrities. 
You always have to be doing something crazy cool just to have a meaningful life when in all actuality, like spending time with family or doing something small that you enjoy can mean the whole world to you. So don't take those little things for granted. Anyways, we're gonna go get some food. See you guys later. <laughs> so my mom. <laughs> my mom. My mom says, let's go to the store after we get our hotel room. We get in the car and I'm expecting this to be like a four minute drive. We literally go one block down from the hotel. And I'm, and I'm like, are you serious? We literally could have walked, but no, but no, we drove in the car. And then the guy at the gas station was so cute, but like, he looked really lonely and I just really hope he has a girlfriend to go home to. Cause he kept staring at us when we left. I was like, oh gosh, I hope he's okay. Stay up brother, stay up. Okay, we are at a hotel in Reading, right? Reading. Reading. Yeah. And gotta grab bags. Ba-bam. 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 Look at the fucking pillows. Look at these pillows. They're not even like rectangular. They're fucking. Now that we make beds for a living, these beds are trash. No offense. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm kidding. Can't even do this. <laughs> they forgot cups. <laughs> First thing I said when I got in the room, it's okay, Jordan, because I saw him lying down this bed over here. And I was like, it's all right. I'll sleep with mom. I won't pee on her. <laughs> I won't pee on her. Hey, they have. I'll pee. I'll pee on mom. Look at Krista. They use the same shit. <laughs> wow, so unoriginal. Same coffee. No, they have Keurig though. They have Keurig coffee. We have donut coffee. Why did I buy this chocolate? Give me one. I'll eat this. Okay. You can have some of this if you want. This is actually pretty fire. Here you go. It's the little things in life, guys. I keep telling you this. Shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Aloe vera smoking. Look at the shower. Guys, let's see if they left any eyelash hairs. I'm judging the hard corest out of this bathroom. You know, I inspect everything. Hair. You look at the chrome. Um. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, people do not know how to clean these days. I'm gonna pee on that one, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's do something gay to the rock, like pee on it. <laughs> oh gosh. What? <laughs> Knock on their door. Oh! <laughs> They're gonna know. Dad, is that you? Why did you leave me? <laughs> <laughs> Do they go under the door? Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. 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 We should tell mom. We should tell mom. We should go slide these under someone's the door. Jordan. <laughs> I should. You should tell mom that I'm in that room over there and then tell her to knock on it and I'll open it. No. No. Oh, in here. No, like just Going pretend pretend that I'm in there and no. then see if she knocks on the door. <laughs> I wanted to squat, like squish the lotion in, in the door. We got facial bars and we got body bars. Where? What the fuck <laughs> is this shit? Oh my good god! I can't. Hair dryer behind the door. <gasps> They're not lying. Oh my gosh. The Bible's out. Of course, guys, it is the end days. We are in the last days. They are taking Bibles out of the fucking hotel rooms. Like, but you can leave a hairdryer and 
Half of the ha housekeepers don't even clean the coffee maker, like the inside part right here. You know? They got a microwave too. They gotta clean it up. Mm. Look at that. I'm gonna steal this fucking fridge. How do they get these nice ones to go out? That's disgusting. <laughs> Probably collects a lot of bacteria. Mom, I got did you get I that? Got... THC, THC. She gonna get wonky tonight. No, I'm not gonna get wonky. <laughs> I'm gonna get wonky. I got it pretty long. I just got some CBD over here. I got some CBD drops and my favorite two to one ratio dabs. Pretty good. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it Stuck. He just got two free bags of chips.